Let's now go to Parliament, where the Minister of State nominee for the Finance Ministry, Charles Edubwahin, says he resigned from his company, Black Star Advisors, in 2017, refuting claims that he still works with them. The nominee, who has come under heavy criticism from the Bulgar Central MP, Isaac Adungo, says the claims by the MP should be disregarded. The Bulgar Central MP has been calling for rejection by the appointment committee, claiming conflicts of interest in his association with Black Star Brokerage, that's the transaction advisors to government. And the question was in relation to prior to this, had we ever done business with government? That's when I said no. And this whole issue was what Adongo was referring to. He came to. under heavy criticism over government, a huge borrowing on the advice of a company he is believed to own. I resigned from the board and management of Black Star Advisors in 2017. I have no role and I do not participate in any of their business dealings. Um, and their current capacity as bond market specialists, they are uh, operating ba purely based on performance and I have no influence or say in what they do. It is their responsibility to go out and raise money uh, for government when government issues bonds and they then get paid based on their ability to do so or not to do so. But appearing before the vetting committee, the nominee insisted that he does not meddle in the affairs of his company since he resigned in 2017. And so long as we do run a deficit economy, meaning our expenditures exceed our revenue, we are obligated to borrow to make up the difference. So um, uh, borrowing is to be expected. The question is, to, the, the important thing is to get approval from parliament and, and the appropriation bill passed and to, um, 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 get, uh, to get permission to do it. Charles Dubois also disclosed that the COVID-19 pandemic cost the country about 21 billion cities.